Hi, welcome back. This is Jennifer and I have the latest bead mix from Kelly's Bead Boutique. This is Changing Tides Bead Mix and this is the third of their series of bead mixes. The other two bead mixes, the Red with Envy and the Seahawks, the Seahawk Fan Colors bead mixes are also available. I will uh, put a link to the video that I I did with creating four different pairs of earrings. I created two pairs of earrings with each of the bead mixes. The bead mixes are just that, they're bead mixes. They're not complete kits. However, though you have enough, uh, enough goodies in these bags to make uh, different projects. In the other two bead mixes, I chose to make earrings. In this one here, I think I want to use a, I want to use these for a necklace. Since this is changing tides and kind of a little beachcomber theme, I would like to make a necklace using these beads here. And so in the bead mix, we have these beautiful flat beads, turquoise blue aqua color, more aqua than turquoise. And then we have these beautiful faceted beads beautiful shimmer. We have some crystal rondelles in that same type of aqua color. Here are some aqua smaller rondelles. There's also a couple of beautiful metal beads with butterflies and they're a little heavier so for my necklace I want to use these just to add a little bit of weight around the neck. And these are beautiful spacers, spacer beads that have um, glitter. They look like glitter. And so that'll go really well with the rest. I have some other metal beads and look at these beautiful beads here. Some coin beads with some texture. There's some texture and the different colors. So I am thinking that I'm gonna be making a necklace with this. That's what I wanna do. And then. I had done this a long time ago when I was first starting out where I thought, well, you know, how many, how many inches do I have? I didn't have my ruler just readily available here. And so, cause I was working on a smaller surface, not as large of a surface. And so I just built in a ruler right on my, uh, right on my um, bead mat here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all laid out and come back and what I'm gonna use is I'm going to actually use some hemp cord, some Beadsmith Natural Elements bead cord. I did get this on kellysbeadboutique.com and so she has that there. I'm also, I also grabbed a antique brass lobster clasp and this is a smaller one. This one's probably the 12 by six. Let's see here. It is, yeah, it's gonna be the 12 by six. I wish I had a larger one in that in that color, but um, I don't for this. I have it in the platinum. So this is, this is a size that I was actually wanting. So it's a little bit bigger, quite a bit bigger. And that was actually the size I was looking for, but I only have it in platinum. And so I will go ahead and use the antique bronze now. And if I need to change it out, I can change it out later. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cut up and get some beads arranged and I'll be right back. I have about one and a half meters of the hemp cord in that light uh, kind of bone color. And I am going to find the middle. So let's find the middle. Try not to tie a knot. I'm gonna find the middle and I'm not gonna use any jump rings or anything. I'm just gonna use um, the natural loop from after I tie the knot. And then I'm gonna try something on the other side with the clasp. And so I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it and see if that works. I just had an idea and we'll see if it works. So let's go ahead and just tie an overhand knot at the end here. And I'm thinking I might want to tie two knots uh, on top of each other just so that I can be sure that my beads don't slip over. So get that nice and tight and let's do another one. I 
is a very long piece, even though it's cut or folded in half, not cut in half, don't cut it. Okay, so now I have a nice good size knot there so that I know that this larger knot, won't, this larger bead won't go over. So I am just going to string these on by basically uh, putting two strands, putting both strands through both or through the whole of some of the beads and some of them, I'm sure they're not going to, both strands are gonna fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass through some of them that I know will, because I don't believe this one here will take both strands. This one might not take both strands. This one here and that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just want this one on the end. And so I'm gonna make an overhand knot. And I'm not gonna do two for this one because I only did over here so that just for the and for the end. Let's go ahead and get that. And if one one string is kind of um, sticking out, just tug on both one at a time, and you'll you'll get them. See, it doesn't come over it, but I just wanted to add that extra on the side. And if you don't want to put knots in between all of them, you don't have to. I am going to, um, like I said, put just one strand through some of them and so but I am going to be knotting up most of them and some of them I'll have a lot you know so for this one you see how this one here there's some movement well I want a little bit of movement in that one too just because um, I just want it to have a little bit of movement I don't want them to be tight and just looking for you know this is changing tides theme and so I'm just looking for a little bit of beachy and so that's why I chose this lighter color of the hemp cord rather than the darker uh, just because I want it to be more of a little beachy theme. Let's go ahead and pass this through. And then what I'll do after this is I'm gonna, the next bead I'm just gonna single through, just uh, put one strand through. We'll see what it looks like. And I do want it there, but I don't want it too, I don't want the knot too close to the bead. I want some movement. So now this one here, we're just going to pass through one, but then still do my overhand knot with both strands. I do love that look. I just love that look. Just want to be sure that I don't have one side sticking out more than the other. I want them to be pretty kind of even here a little. Let's see where, there we go. And it's just kind of a, a game of pull and tug. So there we go. So now I'm just going to continue passing these through and I'm not going to do single bead on all of them. So this one here, I want to send through that bead, the spacer bead, and my crystal. I'm pretty sure this goes through. Yep. I gotta make sure I get it all the way through. Okay. So now we have this little trio and we'll go ahead, bring this in, make sure our ends are put together and I'm going to go ahead and put in an overhand knot. It's a pretty easy so far. My trick is going to be attaching the clasp at the end. I am, like I said, I have an idea, not sure how it's gonna go, but we shall see. All right, so let's go ahead and put in my overhand knot. And I am going to continue with stringing these on and continue with my overhand knot 
and when I get close to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and come back. So that's what we have so far. And I'm gonna continue going through. And I don't have any, there's no pattern. It's just kind of random. So um, I'm, you can set this up however you wish. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And when I get to the end, before I attach the clasp, I will come back on. So we've made it to the end and this is what I have so far. So I still need to string on this last bead and the uh, lobster clasp. So I didn't want to string on the last bead until I brought you back. And so I'm going to go ahead and string this on and I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. So what I'm actually going to try is I am going to pass through both of my cords, bring it all the way down to where I want my lobster clasp to be. Then I am going to fold it over. Then, you know what I think I'm gonna actually do? Is I think I am going to do a square knot. How does that sound? So now let's go ahead and get my two strands away. I'm not going to need those. I want my strands to be even though because I don't want it to be off. Let's grab a piece of tape. Am I the only one? I always keep a piece of tape always right on my desk here. All right, so let's tape down that guy. And then let's do our P. There we go there. And pass that through. I'm probably making this a lot more difficult than what it is. And if Kelly were watching this, she'd probably be like, why did you do that? Why did you tape it to the table? I don't teach you guys how to do that. I teach you guys how to put it on a board and here I'm talking and talking and doing this doesn't really work. Okay, so here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my P and then I'm gonna bring this over and then I'm gonna tuck this through the back. to make it so tight right there, but it needs to be somehow. Again, I don't know if this is a good way to do this, but. It's probably not, but I just thought it would be a good idea, possibly. Okay, so now let's make our Q. Over, over, and then back under. All while trying to keep that. Okay, and there is some wiggle room there, which is good. Okay, so then I'm gonna do another one. Again, probably not the most uh, professional way of doing this. Okay, let's do that again. One last time. Do the cue. 
And the closer this I get, or the more that I do, the harder it gets because of getting closer to that bead. However, by having it taped down, it really does help. Give that a nice big tuck. Did that work? And it's not going anywhere. Woo! Okay, so now, let's go ahead and give it, and I'm sure I could probably leave the, um, leave a tail on here and add some blingies, but I'm not going to. I'm sure I can, what I'm probably gonna do is after I'm gonna add maybe some GS Hypo. Maybe I'll go ahead and do it now. Let's go ahead and add some some GS Hypo just to make sure it doesn't come apart. And I got this GS Hypo from Kelly. I think you can a nice little add-on to your order so when you order your so when you order your changing tides bead mix go ahead and grab some uh, grab your hemp cord I mean your yeah your hemp cord and um, grab some GS hypo grab your changing your tides and you've got yourself a good nice order there all right so then let me go ahead and put that back on. Easiest way I have found to put the needle back in is to put this, you know, the, the side where the glue is, to put that up against my finger and then try and slide that through. It's been easier than just going like this because I can't see. All right, so let's make sure we got that, we got that. And now let's move, put my tape back so I can use it. And I did end up with quite a bit extra but that's okay, right? And here we are. We have our nice little changing tides necklace, nice little beach necklace with uh, not using anything except for a lobster clasp and this hemp cord. So um, here's the hemp cord again. This is what it looks like and it has four different colors. It has like a black and a brown and a soft brown and like a bone color. This is at Kelly's Bee Boutique. I did use a little bit of GS Hypo cement. Also the lobster clasp, again, at Kelly's Bee Boutique. And there we have it. Put it on with just the background there. How is that? And so I really appreciate you being here. Be sure to comment and also don't forget to subscribe and like, and we will see you next time.